Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from King Martini Cross Nation. And for today's episode, as you guys may know, we'll be going over the Prime Illustrated Axle Metal in today's metal analysis. Now, just to let everybody know, uh, I am starting to do a new approach where from now on, I'll only be releasing my metal analysis articles for any new metal that comes out only when I make my metal analysis video to go along with it and I post it. Okay, so I'll be posting along the same time. And from now on as well, I'll be making it so that only Patreon members can actually get first look access to the metal analysis article before it actually gets released to the public. Uh, when I make my metal, metal analysis videos to go along with them. But in case you didn't know, I already have the metal updated on my site at khuxnation.com. If you just go to the website, it'll be right there on the front page for you to click on. Uh, if you happen to be watching this video from a future point in time, you can always go to the metal analysis tab, uh, go to all metals and select its category that corresponds with it and you'll be able to find the metal. All right, so I've slightly updated the metal analysis for uh, metals and this is how I'm going to be doing it from now on as well for all metals that are coming in the future and whenever I get the time I'll try and go back and update the previous metal analysis articles I've done in the past as well but as of right now Prime Illustrated Axle is a power reverse metal tier 4 single target uses 6 gauges uh, and we'll be going back and forth between a 6 star and 7 star version. For his 6 star version, he has a total max multiplier of 14.04. And his ability is for one turn, raises power strength by 7 tiers, lowers target's general defense by 4 tiers, power defense and reverse defense by 7, raises special attack bonus by 40%, and restores 3 gauges. Now what I'm starting to do just to help di differentiate between the 6 star and 7 star versions is that anything that changes between the two versions within the abilities are actually going to be highlighted in blue. So like as you can see right here in the 7 star version, um, you can see right here that the reverse strength plus three tiers was added in blue because that was not in the in the six star version. Okay, as well as the 60% uh, guilt bonus that is also a change and also an increase from what it was in the six star version as well. So that's also in blue. So just let you guys know that for now on any changes within the ability uh, that uh, happens within the seven star version of a metal will be in blue from now on. But in terms of the 7 star version, it does the exact same thing, has a higher strength and defense stat, has a new total max multiplier of 37.87, which is insane. Um, and the only difference in the ability that the 7 star version has compared to 6 star is that it now provides a reverse strength of 3 tiers, as well as the uh, special attack guilt bonus increases from 40% to 60% now. So the first thing I want to mention in regards to Prime Illustrated Axel is the fact, please keep in mind, that he is a single target metal. I know his biggest comparisons as to right now are going to be the stained glass metals. And I mean, with good reason, they pretty much almost do the exact same thing, uh, just slightly different. This one provides max reverse debuffs compared to the stained glass metals to provide max reverse buffs. However, the single target aspect of the metal does uh, change how and when it's actually going to be used or effective to use it I should say as well as the fact that um, I also noticed too and like and someone pointed out to me in my last stream but Axel does not provide any general strength buffs at all whatsoever as well um, what this means is that you're going to want to use Prime Illustrated Axel uh, in conjunction with another metal such as like maybe illustrated Kyrie or Shoney X or even another stained glass metal just to make sure you get your max out uh, strength buff all right as well as uh, as well as the fact you also want to try and make sure you get that uh, maxed out reverse buff as well so maybe even doing a combination of all three would it hurt it'll just depend on the keyboard that you're using to like determine as to like what type of setups you can do and stuff with him at the very least though i will say that this metal it can be pretty busted even though it's single target it can be pretty busted for uh the uses that it will be used for all right um so like i mentioned before because of the fact that it's single target the only real like aspects of the game in which you'll probably end up using this metal are going to be for modes such as like pvp uh raid boss setups 
Uh, as well as for like hard single target events such as like the Organization 13 events where you're only fighting one dude but he's just so hard and you really need to kill him. Like he'll be really good for that. Even if you're only using the 6 star version, uh, he'll be super useful for that. Obviously if you have him in the 7 star version as well, uh, that only gives you some extra utility because of the fact, mainly because of the fact he does provide that reverse strength buff um, in the 7 star version. And if you just copy him once, not only will you have all of your debuffs already maxed out, but uh, you will only be missing one reverse strength buff and as well as the general strength buff as well. Those will be the only things that you would be missing and that you would need to try and fill in with like other metals. So what that means is that because of the fact that you, when used in conjunction with a stained glass metal or Kyrie Shoni X, for example, this means that you can literally start now going uh, full on damage on certain keyblades. Uh, after your first two slots and like you don't have to worry about buffs or debuffs anymore um, If you guys recall from my Lexius plus metal analysis video I stated quite a couple times in that video that Lexius plus that in the ideal situation if uh, If you have max buffs or D and debuffs in your setup uh, Lexius plus is not going to be as strong compared to metals such as scar the only reason that like metals like Lexius Plus were so strong, or at least people saw them as so strong, was primarily because of the fact he was filling in uh, reverse buffs and debuffs that most of us weren't able to completely cap out just yet. But now that we have a metal that goes along with the stained glass metals, and we're probably going to see uh, more of these as well for every single other attribute in the game too, uh, that's my expectation. But now, finally, because of fact now though, we have a metal that completely maxes out the reverse debuffs for us within the first two, three slots at the very least. So that means that metals such as Lexius Plus, for example, they he'll still be strong because he does still have a high multiplier. Just keep in mind that Scar is actually going to do more damage uh, compared to Lexius Plus simply because of the fact he has a higher multiplier than Lexius Plus. Even a 7-star version, that's going to be the case. Uh, so just please keep that in mind. Now, because of the fact that this metal does fully, like completely fully, provi it provides a minus 7 reverse debuff, uh, defense down debuff, uh, I know people are going to have questions as to whether or not does Prime Illustrated Axel replace, replace Sephiroth EX+. Plus. And what I have to say to that is, no, it does not replace it at all whatsoever. Uh, please just remember again, the metal Prime Illustrated Axel is just a single target metal. So, like I mentioned before, he's only going to really be useful and effective in single target mo in modes that can actually support single target metals heavily, uh, such as like PvP raid boss setups and like Organization 13 events and such. Those are the only things that Prime Illustrated Axel is actually going to be seen the most and like most useful. Otherwise, you're still going to want to use Sephiroth AX Plus just purely because of the fact that he's an AoE metal and as just versatility more useful compared to anything else. In terms of usage for this metal, I will say that because of the fact he does provide uh, max debuffs when used in conjunction with like, you know, Kairoshini X and Stained Glass Mouse and such, even though he can be a ridiculously hard hitting damage metal um, as well because at least as of right now until the other metals in the game get their seven star buffs as well and such. And even when the other metals get their seven star busts. Regardless, uh, I highly recommend that this metal be used somewhere within the beginning of the Keyblade if possible, solely because of the fact it provides that maxed out reverse uh, defense debuff. Um, so that way you can actually have the rest of your setup just be full on damage from that point onwards and you don't have to worry about anything else. I know because of the fact that he has what seems like a high multiplier, uh, people are going to go bananas about him <laughs> and maybe try using him as a damage metal, which you can still do if you wanted to. You can technically still use him as a damage metal. Just be aware that other metals are probably going to have higher multipliers than Axel uh, when they're 7 star as well very easily. I have no doubt about it. Um, so using him in the pet slot, well, while yes, you can technically still do it, I don't recommend it. He's going to be mainly built for uh, towards the beginning of the Keyblade if possible. Now in terms of the meta, I would hope it will be kind of fairly obvious for a lot of you veterans watching this video that because of the fact he does provide that maxed out reverse debuff, uh, he's going to be meta in any type of mode that supports single target metals, quote unquote like Stuff like PvP, for example, um, and even raid boss luck setups and such. He's definitely going to be meta in those type of modes. Don't get me wrong, okay? But for everything else in the game, he's that's not going to apply as well. And that, again, is just simply because of the fact he's a single target metal. Okay, so now that we've gone over 
the metal for Prime Illustrator Axel. Now let's go over to my spreadsheets and let's actually take a look at uh, how he compares to the other metals. Uh, but at least for these spreadsheets, we'll be looking at just his six star version. Uh, primarily because of the fact I don't have my seven star spreadsheets uh, up and ready just yet in order to make any sort of comparisons with them. Um, just yet so at the very least though we're going to be look taking a look at a six star version and seeing how it does because realistically the majority of players who are going to get this medal are going to have the six star version so as of right now the spreadsheet is organized by score and as you can see right here uh prime illustrated axel is just straight up at the top <laughs> I am honestly not too surprised to be honest uh, with the amount of bus and debus that this guy provides as well as like he he has a ridiculously good multiplier as well that you don't see very often like he's just gonna be ridiculous if you don't recall in the actual metal analysis article I do show that he has two score two separate scores uh, and where he has a six star score and a seven star score this is simply because of the fact that like all medals that evolve the seven stars do uh, change quite significantly. As of right now, at the very least, I am going to be providing uh, two, a separate score for seven star versions of every single medal, which is why I'm also going to have a seven star spreadsheet in the future as well for everything else. Um, but at least in terms of the six star versions, he has a score of 62.535, and that is shown here on the spreadsheet. Uh, I mean, as you could tell right here, just looking at the one that's in second place, he just vastly, he he basically doubles, he's basically double what the second place score is at, at a 31.845. And he's literally almost like double that. It's 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 a little insane. Um, even if we take a look at the multipliers, he's, he's basically just insane. If we take a look at the total max multiplier amongst all spreadsheets, and we'll look at there, he is still the best tier 4 medal in the game. Uh, the second one only being replaced by Boss Marluxia. Boss Marluxia has been like this one of the strongest reversed uh, magic uh medals in the game for quite a while not the strongest but one of them but at least in terms of tier 4 medals permanent should axel does have the highest multiplier within tier 4 medals now um, as well as the fact that if we want to organize about the alternative total max multiplier instead, uh, he is, ends up still being the same exact thing. Prime Illustrator Axel is still first place with Boss Marluxia being second. Uh, so because of the fact of like how ridiculous uh, Prime Illustrated Axel is compared to the other actual tier 4 medals that we have not really touched <laughs> in like the last year or more. Uh, I don't think it's really fair to compare Prime Illustrated Axel to other Tier 4 medals, even though that's what it technically is. So, uh, I end up looking around, and from what I can tell, he's actually more along the lines of in comparison to what the Tier 7 medals are actually going to be. So right now, it's organized by sort, and as we can see right here, the medals are, that come pretty close to what Tunac, uh, Prime Illustrated Axel's score was, which was 62.535, he will end up being just barely above above Toon Santa Roxas in terms of score and he'll be below Illustrated and Kyrie EX uh, within the tier 7. So and, and this is why we're taking a look at this because realistically Prime Illustrated Axel is more of like a tier 7 medal in a 6 star version at least. So we might as well take a look at him from that point. Um, even if we take a look at the total max multiplier so if we organize it like that and when we look at this tier 7 side of things he would end up being right above the FFRK Terra and Warrior of Light for total max multiplier anyways um, and right below Valor Genie, Hercules being King Triton and such. Yeah, so he'll definitely be one of the strongest damage medals, at least within a 6 star version too. Um, and if we were to organize the tier 7 spreadsheet by the alternative total max multiplier instead, um, we can see it shifts quite a lot at which point uh, and he would go down to right around here to right above HD Final Form Sora. Uh, HD Final Form Sora has a multiplier alternative total max multiplier of 13.8 whereas the prime illustrated axel has a multiplier 14.04 so he'll be right above this and right below the hd sword and Kyrie ex metal as well so realistically prime illustrated axel is pretty pretty good okay at least in a six star version he's along the same lines of what you would expect from a tier seven metal and when used correctly, he can be pretty busted as well. Um, now, just from watching all of that in my comparisons with the spreadsheets, you might be already be aware. Um, but please, I know a lot of people will get confused or like basically judge metals based off their tier level. And I will let you guys know right now, don't do this. <laughs> don't, you don't really, like don't base a metal based off its tier level at all whatsoever. Tier literally means nothing in this game. 
the only thing that tier actually affects is going to be how high of a guilt multiplier uh, a metal can have. That is literally it. Beyond multipliers, tier literally means nothing. Okay, and you and from that point onwards, you just want to you only want to look at what its actual uh, ability is going to be. Now, just to provide some fun little steps for you guys to check out and try out if you're able to as well, is uh. Now, these are by far no means the strongest setups, although they are pretty potent. <laughs> but they are really fun little setups that I, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. But uh, essentially, if you have the Dark Knot or you can run setups that are similar to the Dark Knot and such, uh, with like Scar and everything, basically what ends up happening is if you can have at least your cost reduction skills on both the prime axle metal and the scar metal uh, you can actually achieve a really cool and interesting result within the game which is where because of the fact that your prime axle has cost reduction and he does restore three gauges as same thing with your scar uh, what ends up happening is you can quite literally go full-blown damage within the game and still maintain your sp gauges at the exact same time uh and not have to worry about them anymore it's it's quite it's it's really dope and really insane so essentially what would happen like in a setup like this for the dark gnaw um is that you would achieve your uh your reverse max reverse debuffs right here um and then you would finish out the rest of the buffs and debuffs as well from your prime illustrated axle okay so all of your buffs and debuffs in the game are already completely maxed out just within your first two medals. And as well as the fact that your Prime Illustrated Axle, if it has cost reduction on it, it's actually going to restore at least uh, a plus one uh, gauge as well. If it, you know, assuming you have like a gauge two skill on him at the very least. And because of the fact that Scar does restore three gauges too, uh, what, ends happening, what ends up happening is uh, HD Shion will copy the Scar and end up restoring three gauges. Okay, and then Scar as well will have a cost reduction sale, so he'll be restoring at least one gauge. And then Riku is copying Scar too, uh, so he'll be restoring at least two gauges as well. Uh, so just from like <laughs> four metals, you've already restored four, uh, six, seven gauges, and that ends up still being more than enough to completely allow uh, Lexius here, even if he does not have any cost reduction skills on him whatsoever you can still generate enough uh sp gauges to even just let your uh lexias over here go off um which is absolutely insane like like quite literally the dark knock can now manage itself without having any sort of metal that restores gauges at the exact same time and it's it's honestly a really cool and interesting setup and as a, like this setup right here is just using six star uh metals um i'm not using any special traits or skills uh in terms of attack and stuff like that aside from cost reduction uh on the metals in order to like show you guys this and uh this is absolutely insane if you want to even take it a step further if you can get a seven star version of illustrated shioni x and of prime act uh prime axle as well uh what ends up happening is you don't even need the stained glass metal anymore you can just run the shion and prime axle metals instead uh and you'll you'll not only will you have healing from the illustrated shion uh ex which isn't necessary because none of the metals uh within this setup do damage based off hp so that's just more of an extra but you at least get like counters and such and uh if you're using friend metals the psm uh buffs and debuffs will help out as well um so it's just overall it's it's, it's just like a not a bad thing if you really want to you can still run the stained glass metal there too like the interaction between these two is pretty dope because of the fact that a seven star version of uh, shioni x will provide only per five uh reverse buffs but because of the fact the seven star version of axel uh provides three uh reverse buffs uh, you'll still be getting your maxed out reverse buffs and he he naturally within his own ability uh, completely maxes out the debuffs for reverse defense as well so uh, th these are some pretty fun setups um, not the best okay but they're they're pretty cool to look at and I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, but other than that if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one uh, but other than that, my name is Brian for Kinemartini Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.